Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 56. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Cowboys and the Raiders, and it's coming up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Las Vegas Raiders taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis and the story of the Raiders season, just an incredible one in Las Vegas. The Raiders hadn't so much as won a playoff game in nearly two decades. You had to go all the way back to the 2002 season. But here are the Raiders, CD, in the city they once called home, trying to win it all. And I like that. And think about their journey, their odyssey, so to speak, right? Oakland to Los Angeles, back to Oakland, now in Las Vegas. They have the Colts, the only teams currently to win a Super Bowl in two different cities. Now the Raiders, they have a chance to win in their third city. What a story that would be. Meanwhile, the Cowboys have had some ups and downs since their last Super Bowl appearance, but they're back for the ninth time, trying to win number six and tie the Patriots and Steelers. For the Cowboys, their last Super Bowl title quite a while ago, January of 96. And those were great teams. Jimmy Johnson was their head coach. Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, Michael Irvin, all Hall of Famers. They were known as the triplets. But then you go further back to those great teams in the 70s, led by Hall of Fame coach Tom Landry, Roger Staubach at quarterback, Tony Dorsett at running back. Those were great teams as well. This one, trying to create their own identity. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And he's been sensational all season long, but he saved his best work for the playoffs, leading his guys to the AFC Championship a couple of weeks ago. And now he knows what lies ahead. He's going to need to play a near perfect four quarters of football to get his guys to the finish line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got Casper over the middle. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities. And if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. They run the draw play. Allen. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line. But I want to say this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Here's Allen. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Seven yards on the carry, make it third and four coming up. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. He'll drop to throw. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And he'll take it across midfield and down the 48 yard line. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So the special team's penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. To throw, White. And he'll 
he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll go right back to the ground with Dickerson. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. for this offense going forward. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. First down, it's White. And he's going to go down here as sack. They push him back to the 34. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Dickerson on the handoff. And yeah, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Now after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. White. And that is incomplete. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage. And now it's fourth. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. On the right hash, officially, this will be a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now, come back and get greedy later, and try to put it in the end zone. will not be returned. It's a touchback, and yeah, they'll begin at the 25. The 
The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. They begin the drive on the ground with Allen. Now after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Here's second and nine. They'll look to throw here. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have him set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. But to me, it's pretty simple, and it's fairly obvious, isn't it? He's got to start making better decisions with the ball. That's now two interceptions in the first quarter. After interception number one, there was a long talk on the sideline, and now he's made another mistake. Yeah, he's just been kind of laying these passes out there. He's kind of been floating them a little bit. He's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball. Right it in there every now and then. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they start in the best of all positions. First and goal. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. A carry for Dickerson. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily, you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. They'll try to run for it here with Dickerson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up for offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Now the try here for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. And plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater. Side did not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. Bottom line, he's got to figure things out. He's completed three passes, but two of them have been to the wrong team so far. And when we talk about the best quarterbacks, we're usually talking about touchdown to interception ratio. And two to one is acceptable, but the top line guys, three to one or better, is what they're looking for. Now we're talking about interceptions versus completions. That's not a ratio should ever be in any discussion. They start the drive with a give to Allen. First down and more for Allen. And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. 
to admit I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Ten-nothing the score after one on EA Sports. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. First and ten. They'll run with Allen. Able to slither by. And he's taken down inside the 30. Which said his offense is locked in right now. They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it? Three plays, three first downs. Yeah, he's up there on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Boy, think about the speed with which this offense can get down the field. It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. into the red zone for the first time. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. Now a carry for Allen. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. What a moment for him, a pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember, because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints first time. Yeah, that would pretty much sealed the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways, because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison and the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic, Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. 
the grand old man, Willie Brown, 75 yards. You recall him on. What a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. so far and almost start over and get back to that confident level and know that he can play the game because so far this has been a real struggle. Yeah, absolutely. He's got the interceptions trying to turn it around and he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. We think Brad, I like the intensity his defense is showing right here in his first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They run the counter. Allen. And for a second straight play, that Cowboy defense gets him to the ground behind a line of scrimmage. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Back to throw. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Jalen Smith in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. the Raiders punter now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away so possession goes over here on the punt and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten the Dallas offense back out onto the field and for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now White. Can't get away, and he's taken down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. That's a step in the right direction defensively here because you're facing this sizable deficit. They're going to need more plays like that. A good sack, though. Good effort there. And what you're hoping is, as you said, a step in the right direction, and that means it's something to build on. So you get the first one, and hopefully that can ignite them, and now they can make a few more plays and get back into this game. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. White looks to throw. That's out to Hill, right side complete. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Come on now. Let's do this. I 
I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Now White. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Raider drive will strike from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. As we've seen, their first two drives didn't yield anything points-wise. Certainly feels like they think to themselves, it's time to open this thing up, taking the big shot downfield. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll drop the throw. He's got Allen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. They've had multiple opportunities on offense and still haven't scored any points. Felt like they wanted to loosen things up, throw it downfield, and see if maybe they could get a big play and a quick strike. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Again, he'll drop to throw. To Allen on the dump off. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So third and two, and I count six defensive backs out there. Back to throw again. This is brought in by Casper. And he finally is out of bounds, but he's down inside the 20-yard line. A big play there just before halftime for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And this one is right through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17-3. to three. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? They'll wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they've got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. 
From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14 yard line. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Super Bowl taking it about the one and able to get this across the 20 but not much Let's further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field and I guess the question Charles is what's the formula for keeping him better protected because as we see the protection it's struggle and normally what you get is renewed determination when the, when the big guy gets hit that usually sparks people hey we can't let this happen anymore they take it personally he's not supposed to be on the ground but that hasn't been the case so far in this game so maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much and we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward about set for this next Drive by the Cowboys offense. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off at the 35. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now back to throw. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Raiders take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Set for this next drive. 
And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Pearson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On first down, Dickerson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. He's had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Three yards remain for second down. Here's White. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 24-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. First and ten, White. Looking left sideline, incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here now is second and ten. Operating from the gun, White. James has got it, complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. They don't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. A play fake, now White. Down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. The first and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of him. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. White, he finds his man complete. That's James. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Out 
of the gun. It's White. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the side. Look at his third sack, and that ties the Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy, three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing those golden high tops as well. And his kick here is good. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So three points, uh, response there to that opening touchdown in his third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. Taking it about the run. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. They'll set up a throw. He's got a first down past the 30. And all the way up to the 33-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run the counter. It's Allen. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. remaining on second down. They'll look to throw. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. The Raiders on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Looking to throw. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got him bumped down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. 
You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. They'll look to throw again. This is Casper catching it out right. Oh, no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. Recovery. White. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. White. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the shotgun, here's White. Getting this into the hands of Eric Dickerson. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. Stop trips and defensive guys, they've got to use the three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Running it with Dickerson. And they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown. It's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold them up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. 
Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take it in for a Cowboys score. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Cowboys are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop it. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. turn from just beyond the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Las Vegas' offense back out there ready to go. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got a man and he hits him in stride. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Second and four. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll look to throw here. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And a loose football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. shot in this Super Bowl. They're going to need this one on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you try not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. 
That'll be caught by Rice. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going in. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Going for it all. And that's going to be caught for a winner touchdown. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Raiders have got it back to a two-score game in the fourth. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So this drive spans seven plays, and it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes, they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Time for this one final knee to put a ball on this title bow. I don't know why we did it, but we went to their final walkthrough for some reason. And what did we say? Their last play and walkthrough was taking a knee and celebrating winning a Super Bowl. They wanted that visualization. They did it for real. Yeah, they just scripted it out. Defense can't stop the clock. And they can watch the final seconds tick. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. And the Dallas Cowboys will hoist the Lombardi Trophy. They are the kings of the NFL. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. 
so good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs, you see the guys sharing, the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them, a fantastic season.